is a Fox Sports presentation. The time has come to explore baseball's past. But understand, it is a journey not for the weak of heart. An adventure not soon to be forgotten. The camera highlights in the world of sport. baseball season is well underway but it's time for the real action to begin right here on Fox Saturday Baseball. Hello and welcome from Hollywood California and studio number seven where you might be used to seeing the hockey and football guys running around but not today we have baseball inside and out. We even have a added surprise to our studio show a little thing we call Fox Park and we'll take you there just a little later on. Hello, everybody. I'm Chip Carey. Happy that you're tuned in to Fox Sports for our debut of televising Major League Baseball every Saturday for the rest of the year. Joining me, as they will every week, is a future Hall of Famer and a nine-year Major League veteran, Dave Winfield and Steve Lyons. Guys, welcome two months into the season. Any surprises so far? For me, for my money, what makes this season so exciting is that we have league leaders and contenders in new and unexpected places, San Diego, Montreal, down there in Texas. They're keeping hope alive. They refuse to lose. I love it. Hey, surprise, surprise. 1996 is going to go down in history as the year of offense. There's so many runs being scored, tons of hits, and home runs galore. It's unbelievable. You know, I almost feel sorry for some of the pitchers out there, but there's only three American League starters right now with an ERA below three, and one of those guys, Juan Guzman, is out of action right now. And those hurlers only sorry because there's one less easy out in the major league <laughs> when you're sitting right, right here. All right, guys, time now for our Fox Watch, and you'll see one of two games, either the Red Sox and the defending most valuable player in the American League, Mo Vaughn, facing Ken Griffey Jr. and the Seattle Mariners. Or you'll see the Dodgers and Mets from Shea Stadium, where the big story is Mike Piazza. Calling that game is Joe Buck and Tim McCarver. Good afternoon, guys. Okay, Chip, thank you very much. It is a gorgeous day here at Shea Stadium getting ready for the Dodgers and the Mets. And, Tim, I would imagine all eyes right now are on Dodger catcher Mike Piazza after he suffered that knee injury midweek in Philadelphia. And a knee injury is much more serious for a catcher than it is for any other position player. Will he be affected defensively? I don't think so. There's an old axiom in baseball that if you can catch the squat and give the signs, then you can go down and block the ball in the dirt. The big thing, however, about Piazza, can he swing the bat? Can he push off the back foot without losing power? I think he proved that last night with that monster home run. And there is no doubt the Dodgers need his bat in the lineup. He is in the lineup today. They're five and a half out, but it's early. And you can't afford to lose the type of power and average that Mike Piazza gives you. We are getting ready to roll on opening day of Major League Baseball on Fox here at Shea. Now we send you across the country to the great northwest to Seattle, Josh Lewin and Ken Singleton. 
All right, thanks, guys. Here at the Kingdome last night, there were a couple of scary moments, and they involved two of the bigger names in baseball. Let's start with Mo Vaughn, last year's MVP. Mo was hit by a pitch last night in the ballgame, just happened to follow an at-bat in which he hit a home run. Kind of a coincidence, huh? Well, Mo hangs over the plate. He understands this can happen. He's okay. He's in there today. Ken Griffey Jr. in center field into the wall, chasing down a shot last night just about a year ago into the very same wall here at the Kingdome. But he broke his wrist 73 games out for the season. Thankfully, Griffey and Vaughn good to go today. The stars are out indoors for the Mariners and the Red Sox. Let's go back to Chip Carey now in Hollywood. Okay, Josh, thank you very much. Let's get you caught up on what's happened already in the major leagues. One final in. It comes from Riverfront Stadium in Cincinnati where the Braves have beaten the Reds 12 times in a row, but a tough start for Greg Maddox. First of all, an error by Chipper Jones scores the first Cincinnati run. It's 1-0 in the first. Then runners first and second. Thomas Howard doubles down the left field line. Barry Larkin comes in to score. The Reds lead 2-0. They add another run and take a 3-0 lead later into the ball game. All the offense Greg, Mus Greg Maddox saw today was mustered by two solo home runs, one by Javier Lopez, the other by the crime dog Fred McGriff, and the Reds have now won the game 3-2, first win of the year by Mark Portugal, Jeff Brantley to save. At County Stadium in Milwaukee, tempers flare for the second game in a row. Fernando Vina had his nose broken by Albert Bell last night. Today, Kenny Lofton goes nose to nose with him. Darrell Cousins breaks up that little tete-a-tete, -tete. no punches thrown, and calm was restored. But Phil Garner saw Angel Miranda pitch a great game, but he walks Kenny Lofton with the bases loaded in the sixth inning. That made it 1-0 Cleveland in that ballgame. Then, late in the ballgame, in the bottom of the seventh inning, a two-strike triple off the bat of Jose Valentin scores Greg Vaughn. That makes it 1-1. The Brewers have now added a run in the bottom of the seventh inning. David Hulse with an RBI single as the raindrops falling at County Stadium in Milwaukee. There it is, 2-1 your score. The Brewers lead the try. Dave, what about that Cleveland ball club? All kinds of offensive chances today. Now they're trailing by a run. Well, although expected, there's not a lot of offense being generated from the Tribe or the Brewers, and these are two of the most prolific uh, offensive scoring ball clubs in the American League. Pitching has been dominant. It's taken a center stage today. Jack McDowell has done extremely well, and also Angel Miranda, but it's the bottom of the seventh, and the Brewers have taken the lead. How about this Atlanta ball club? Could it be that Greg Maddox is actually human? His ERA right now ballooning to 2.87. Here's a guy for the last four years has had an ERA under two. Most pitchers would take that ERA. Just bad luck for him. Indeed it is, and Atlanta loses 3-2 today. All right, it's time for our first break, and when we come back, Steve and I chat with the Dodgers' Brett Butler. But first, here's a look at what's on deck for today's show. Coming up on Fox is Saturday Baseball. Hey, hey, this junior is hotter than a pistol. Some have even suggested political greatness. Armed and loaded with immense talent, Ken Griffey Jr. is content as one of the most complete ball players in the game today. Dave Winfield catches up with the high-flying Seattle superstar. Then, the old ballpark just ain't keeping the ball in play this season. It's no secret, we've got a power surge on our hands. And at the current rate, some mighty big records are ready to fall. Coming up, coming at you, the one and only Fox Saturday Baseball.